the police was tired. <laughs> just cracked me up. Billy Ray, remember how you cried and cried and begged and begged and begged for my $10,000 to buy you Bitcoins and cash out for the foundation? Hello, it's Pickle here. I'm back once again, talking about someone that isn't Bossman Jack. But, but, there is something related between them. The consumption of narcotics. And who do I have for you today, you might ask? None other than Felicia Cyrus. Now, I don't remember where I stumbled upon this um, character, but as soon as I laid eyes on her, it was love at first sight. As you can tell from her appearance, she must clearly be hitting the crack pipe like Bossman does. And clearly she is far, far down the crack rabbit hole compared to Austin. This um fine looking lady is convinced and is trying to convince us that she is married to Billy Ray Cyrus. As you heard from the first clip, she she allegedly in her head, in her dreams, is talking to the Billy Ray Cyrus, who some of you might know as a country singer, songwriter, and actor, and more well known these days as being the father of the well known degenerate Miley Cyrus. So, like I said, Felicia thinks that she's been married to Billy Ray Cyrus for the past 11 years, as well as having some more interesting lore, which we'll be exploring today. Felicia Cyrus is on Instagram. I have not been able to find anything else about her. I didn't find her on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, nowhere, nothing. She's not even on Kiwi Farms. So I think what we got here, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a diamond in the rough. Seemingly no one has stumbled upon this lol cow. Anyways, let's get right into the meat of it. Now I'm going to show you some clips from her Instagram. All right, Heather Smith, your tower is getting really messed up. That's your home and you're letting it get destroyed. Now that's for that. Now, if my foundation and my money is in the house, you better go get my shit. Hey, Miley Charles, this is your stepmom. I'd like to know why you keep sending me text messages so I can air it on Instagram about your dad. Why are you snitching on your dad? That's a lot of hateful, a lot of denial, a lot of just bad. Fire you paid somebody to hurt Billy Ray Cyrus and all his friends in the presidency situation? You made him bow down? All because of your stupid shit. So as you can see, we already got a whole host of characters. We got Heather Smith and her tower, Miley Cyrus snitching on her dad, and Fire Rose, one of his ex-wives, but that Felicia claimed is still married to him, messing up his his career, his presidency, and that she paid somebody to hurt him. Jesus. <laughs> Like, this is what I told you before. On the first reel that I saw of her, I was hooked. <laughs> I have to know more of this. I gotta know all the lore. And I'll bring you guys along in my learning journey. So before these reels, there was also a couple of posts, which seemed like screen captures of her phone. First one them being about $5,000 that somebody's trying to scam off of her. Now, signed by Miley Cyrus, so somebody is impersonating Miley Cyrus and trying to scam $5,000 off of Felicia. Then on another post, we have William Ray Cyrus <laughs> is writing to his lovely wife, Felicia. All right, so he just went from Billy to William. I, I don't know. Yeah, William over here trying to catfish her. And then we have some more uh, disturbing uh, screen gaps. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm guessing this is one of the impersonators sending this to her in what context i don't know and i think i don't want to know on the next one we got fire rose supposed to send her a video then oh my lord uh yeah well uh, uh, okay moving on let's go back to the reels after these disturbing posts this is felicia cyrus just want to do a confession i choose my husband billy ray cyrus before the twin flame. And there's a lot of connection in that. And I'm not about to break my vows. So, this is to the community. I know Billy Ray Cyrus still needs money. So, I'll let you know why I cannot live in the community with my husband. I want to live with him in the community. I have rights. Hello, Heather Smith. This is Felicia Cyrus. I was just on the phone with Billy Ray and you cussed him out because he just called me. I am going to report this to the police and the FBI so they can arrest your ass. You cannot hold my husband hostage. He does not belong to you. He is a grown man. Why are you holding him hostage? Do you know that is illegal in America here? This is also harassment, extortion, asking for money and not giving nothing back. You guys got contracts on me. Over 50, 60 different contracts. They're all playing games. 
This has to stop. It cannot keep going on for another three, four years. Billy Ray Cyrus and Fire Rose have only been together for a year. How can all this happen in one year? Heather Smith, I know you just called me and we had a little chit chat and you want to argue with me? I don't believe in when people talk to me, okay? I want to see it all in black and white. Show me the contract that my husband is going through that he's locked up for right now. Hey, this is for the company and Heather Smith. Like I told you guys, he has been off contract for the last 10 months. I have it in documents, in black and white, paid in full. So, if you guys are still making him do music, you guys just broke the contract I've had the last 10 months. When I go to court, and get the FBI involved in this for false letters, false contracts, false everything last 11 years. You I'm left wondering if by the community or the company, what she means by that. What it probably is, is whoever is stalking her, trolling her, trying to scam her. That's the, Those are the people that represent this uh, community or company or whatever. Now, I'm not sure what she means by a contract either. Music contract? Billy Ray or or what? But this is just all very bizarre to me. This this woman is clearly very mentally ill. She very much reminds me of Daniel Larson in more ways than one. Now, I'm pretty sure Daniel wasn't on crack, so there is a difference between them. But she's definitely just as crazy as he is and is also being followed by a bunch of people that are clearly detrimental to her monetary as well as mental well-being. I don't know if you guys noticed, she has literally no teeth. She's probably on very, very hard drugs or used to be on them and that might explain why she's paranoid schizophrenic now. So I definitely don't encourage anyone to go seek her out or try to interact with her. This, this person is very, very ill. Like I said before, it seems that she's only really on Instagram. Let me know in the comments if you know this person and know if she's active anywhere else. But uh, I have very bad news. I checked her Instagram just this morning because I was getting ready to continue adding more content to this video well it turns out felicia deleted basically 90 percent of her content on her insta i have no idea why what motivated her to do this we can only guess that in some sort of schizophrenic meltdown she she might have decided to to just delete everything she did not delete everything she left the the original six posts the one with the first reel followed by the less than savory screen caps so unfortunately, that's all I have for you from, from Felicia here. I'll be keeping an eye on her just in case she comes back and starts posting again so we can sort of figure out what, what the rest of the plot is. So until then, this has been Pickle Time. If you stuck through the whole video, thank you. You're a legend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.